Good evening, everyone. So this is the fun part. Um, looking at Patrick's previous slide, you know, like task five and six, manage consultants and conduct extensive public outreach. That's not fun, but what we're really here to do is to make it fun. Um, I think all of us are here tonight because we want to see what the future can bring to Spring Garden, and we think it's a very bright future. We want to transform 2.2 miles of Spring Garden uh, into a green boulevard and maybe bring back what was here 100 years ago, maybe push the envelope a little bit and have something completely new for the 21st century. And, um, and this is the fun part. So let's see, how many artists do we have here in the room? Any artists? That's pretty good. Um, I have a friend who says that artists are usually ahead of their time, that they can usually imagine what uh, a bunch of us usually cannot imagine. And um, I think that's what we're asking everybody here to, to do tonight. And that's, I think, the work that we at PAC are good at. We know how to make projects happen, how to make the visions happen. This is the process looking forward uh, that will take us to a final conceptual design. So we are right here at the beginning of the graph. Uh, we had a kickoff meeting and uh, we're having the first public me meeting here tonight. So what this graph basically uh, tries to show is that we're trying to integrate uh, the vision uh, that the artists have with the process. Many projects start uh, in a boring way, government just you know trying to do whatever they're doing, uh, and then other projects, in contrast, start with the artists, start, start with the vision, um, but don't necessarily understand the process to make it happen. And I think what we're trying to do is to marry both. So we have everybody in the room, we have uh, support from the city and from many many government agencies. We know the process. And we basically want to translate the vision of everybody in this room into a new spring garden. So moving forward, we're going to have the consulting team, which I will introduce in a little bit, um, looking at the technical aspects of spring garden. What can we do in relation to traffic? What can we do in relation to stormwater? Uh, how can we make this a better pedestrian environment, a better uh, environment for cyclists? And then we're going to be engaging you, not only in public meetings, but in many, many different ways uh, so that you can share your vision with us. That's what we want to see happen. We want to see your vision happen. Uh, at the end of the process, uh, next summer, we will have an official conceptual design. It will be a plan that we hope will help us move the project forward. So what is it for? It will help us raise funds to really, you know, finish the design and do the construction for Spring Garden to make the new Spring Garden happen. Uh, integrate all the different plans that different different government agencies, different neighborhood groups might have had, and make sure that you know we have uh, as good an agreement between the, those plans as we can. Continue to build up our partnerships. That's the only way we'll make something happen at Spring Garden. Is, we, is if we are all working together to make it happen. And then prioritize. Uh, we know that in this economic environment, there's not a lot of money uh, floating out there. So we really have to prioritize and really think hard about what will give us the most bang for the buck. So talking about public outreach, we've done this a lot. We did it for 58 State Greenway. We've done it for a lot of different projects. And we really want you out there with us. We're going to do walkability audits on the street. We're going to go knock on your door. Uh, we have a website, we have a bunch of stuff, so whichever way you feel comfortable with, please share your vision with us. Um, these are just some images from our outreach on 58th Street Greenway. We really made sure that we, get, we got everybody's opinions, even of those who had concerns, uh, and even those who thought that this was not a good idea. And in the end, uh, I think we're going to see a really exciting project and a better project uh, in southwest Philly because of that. And as I mentioned, we have support from a lot of different groups, uh, including the mayor. And um, we actually did a mayor's bike ride two years ago, riding straight down Spring Garden with Mayor Nutter, which um, was actually pretty cool. <laughs> so um, the different ways that you can give, um, 
your uh, share your vision with us. You know, meet us in person. So let me, you know me, I'm Spencer. Let me see who from the council staff is in here. So there's Megan. So you might hear from her. Uh, let's see, where are Jeff? There's Kiet. Jeff is right there. Jeff is right there. <laughs> so, uh, and then we have a bunch of council staff, but you'll probably see a lot of, of Kiet, Megan, and Jeff. Uh, they're always out there. Uh, walking up and down Spring Garden, and if you see them, feel free to grab them and... Uh, <laughs> give us a sandwich. <laughs> uh, give them a call, give us a call. Well, we'd be glad to talk to you. Uh, you can send us emails, of course. Uh, we're on the web, so our website is up. Go check it out, springgardenstreetgreenway.com. So it's up and running, and we'll uh, continue to make improvements. There's tons of different ways you can give us feedback on the website. And of course, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. So uh, if there's anybody Twittering now or tweeting or whatever, uh, <laughs> tweeting. <laughs> tweeting, there you go. Uh, please tweet something good. Um, so let me introduce our consultant team. So Patrick mentioned that we've selected a, a team and it's led by Sam Schwartz Engineering. Um, and they're gonna be looking at some of the, the technical aspects of this. They're gonna be looking at the existing bike lanes, at the sidewalks. We're trying to improve uh, the environment for pedestrians, for cyclists. Uh, they're gonna look at parking. This is a project that will uh, probably have very, very little impact on, on parking, might even have a uh, beneficial impact on parking. Um, they're gonna be looking at the existing traffic patterns. Act actually, they are looking at existing traffic patterns uh, with uh, local firm traffic planning and design to assist them with that. Um, actually, before I move here, like, let me stop and say, show you who Sam Schwartz Engineering is. So uh, Doug, if you want to stand up, Doug is the project manager. He's our chief engineer for the project. And Jeannie and Aviva are with Sam Schwartz Engineering. So they're right here. And I can guarantee you they're working hard right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm keeping them up at night, actually. but. Um, one of the things we're going to look at, too, is look at the median and look at opportunities to green the street and to do stormwater management. You're going to hear a little bit more about that in just a second. But uh, Sam Schwartz will uh, work with Birdsall Engineering, and where is Jay? There's Jay at that end, uh, to look at those issues. Um, we're also going to look at the economic development potential of, of the project. We know that projects like this have a huge potential to really make uh, businesses along Spring Garden uh, you know, more prosperous and, and bring uh, more activity to the streets and so forth. So uh, we have uh, a firm called RES that will look uh, at storefronts and economic development strategies for us. And finally, we have Interface Studio who uh, are assisting with the urban design. Uh, at connections with the neighborhood uh, and with people. So uh, Scott and Mindy are there at that end, and Ashley, there's Ashley right there. So they're with Interface Studios, and they actually um, helped develop this, uh, this PowerPoint presentation as well. But they're really cool people you're going to hear more about in just a second. So these are the boundaries of the project. We're looking at Spring Garden from Pennsylvania Avenue at the western end to Columbus Boulevard at the eastern end. And we're hoping that this will have a huge impact. Uh, and so you guys don't get really tired listening to me, I'm going to bring Scott up and he's going to go into more detail about what we see looking at Spring Garden today and what we see can happen in the future. So Scott? 